Hi, my name is Dr. Gary Adams and I'm a dentist at Maryland Holistic Dentist in Burtonsville, Maryland. And today I'm going to talk to you about the ALF appliance and the DNA appliance and I'm going to compare these two appliances and you know, because oftentimes I get the question, well, what appliance is the best one? Should I use the ALF appliance? Should I use the DNA appliance? I've got TMJ pain, I've got sleep apnea, and I've had three different consultations, and I've gotten three different stories about what I should do. And you may have gone to dentist number one, and they want to make you a night guard, and they'll tell you to wear that for the rest of your life. You go to dentist number two, and they're a TMJ specialist, and they tell you that they have this special custom-made piece of plastic called a bite splint, and that's going to solve all your problems, and you're going to need to wear that one for the, for the rest of your life at nighttime as well. And um, then you'll have potentially read about these other treatments, like the ALF appliances and the DNA appliances, and these are corrective therapies. That's the nice thing about it is these are not... You know, we're, we're looking at solutions or corrections to problems such as TMJ and we're trying to treat the underlying cause and get rid of the problem. So this appliance right here is the DNA appliance. We're going to get a little bit closer up to this so you can see it a little bit better. There is an upper and a lower appliance. This is the lower appliance and this is an alpha appliance. As you can see, the alpha appliance is a little wire, and this so I don't get too deep into any details because this video is just about comparing the ALF appliance and the DNA appliance. I really separate my patients into two categories. There's kids who maybe have some underlying issues, crowding, some bite problems, maybe they're not sleeping well. They have issues that really they haven't really quite happened yet. You know, they're, you know, they're still developing and I want to intervene and see what needs to be done to prevent them from when they get to adulthood having severe problems like TMJ and sleep apnea. The second correct group of people, and, and the key part about the kids is they're still growing and developing. So it's easy to make changes with kids. With adults, that's when you typically have a lot more difficult time treating adults. They've already stopped growing, issues with TMJ and sleep apnea have to do with the bite, the size and shape of the mouth, how the individual is breathing, what the posture looks like. Uh, I don't want to get overly complicated here, but the alpha appliance is a very light wire and it produces a very light force and I find that when it comes to adults, you need something that's going to be more of a workhorse. The alpha appliance is also an appliance that stays in the mouth all day, every day. Adults typically aren't into things that happen all day, every day. Um, the DNA appliance, um, this is really, I'm gonna bring you in a little closer now. The DNA appliance, as you can see, is right here. This is a, uh, a more substantial appliance, to say the very least, than the alpha appliance. I'll just put the alpha appliance right here. And if you look really, really closely at the DNA appliance, what this is, is it's a combination of a you know, night guard. See, there's a piece of plastic here. It goes over top of the upper teeth. and you can control how the person bites down here. The other thing you can see too is right in here, there's a little opening and there's some mechanisms in here that can be adjusted. Um, this is appliance also is a paddle expander. So this appliance can be adjusted to slowly open this way and also this way. Uh, so it is, an, it is a paddle expander. It is an expander, furthermore, that will work with adults because of these springs here. Um, these springs actually create a scenario where there's an increase in bone cell activity 
and you will see an increase in bone volume with adults. If you look at the front area here, it also looks a little bit like a retainer, and it is an appliance that comes in and out of the mouth. You know, adults will typically wear this 10 hours a day. So the thing that I want to point out here is there's a lot going on, and this mechanism in here is capable of uh, really it gets turned um, from time to time and it really will exert um, in, it, it forces that are uh, much more intent than the alpha points. That's really the point. So there you have it. I think I've done a pretty good job of comparing the alpha appliance and the DNA appliance and um, long story short, I believe that the alpha appliance is the best treatment for kids. It's a great expander and it's typically you, or it could sometimes be used for adults, cases where there's not a lot of TMJ pain and problems. And then the DNA appliance is more used for adults where the problems have already occurred and you're typically dealing with somebody who has TMJ problems where there's going to need to be a lot more control of um, and furthermore there's no, there's no bone there's no growth going on we're going to have to wake these adult jaws back up so that the bones can begin to grow and change size and shape again and that's really what the DNA appliance is 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 all about. You know, it's gonna it's going to number one, what you know, cause the bones to start growing again. And it's gonna exert a much more intent um, pressure to get the changes um, of the magnitude you really need to correct adult problems. Thanks for listening, and my name is Dr. Adams. Have a good day.